We'll make our way down the beach. A bunch of guys fishing out here today. Kind of scattered about every 150 yards. There's, uh, I'll find somewhere. Beautiful morning for it though. Pelicans up there. Today, guys, I'm just gonna get right to it. It's a glassy morning. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get something on the line. waiting today. Woo! The water is chilly on the feet. Starting off with a lucky craft. Got a bite there. I uh, met a subscriber just now named Chad, so shout out to Chad. Ooh, nice cast. And Chad is right, I have not put out a video in a minute, but I came fishing one other time and got skunked. And I don't like putting up videos where I get skunked. I've switched between a couple different lucky crafts, sexy smell, uh, flash minnow, and now I'm back to, uh, what's it called, cherry berry. Kind of determined to get something on a jerk bait today, but oh, there we go. Oh, dude, had a bite. I may have to go to the old faithful sandworm or grub or something. Talked to another guy down the beach. He's caught perch, but he's using a sandworm. And that's just perch candy, man. You can catch perch all day on those things a lot of times. Just been a minute since I've had a good jerk bake bite, so I'm trying to get that going right now, but. Get one way the hell out there. Actually, I had somebody ask me the question the other day. Is it a bait casting rod with a spinning reel combo that I'm rocking? And the answer is absolutely. And yeah, it works fine. So I know guys have their thoughts about that, whatever. The reel works really well and it still casts a mile, so. Sure, I lose a little bit of casting distance, but I'm not all that worried about it. Fish don't care what my setup is or how much it costs. I think I'm gonna go ahead and rig up a sandworm on the Carolina rig, just keep it easy, get some fish on the board, and uh, I'm hoping the sun comes out uh, a little. It's kind of hit and miss, but um, it's all good, it's a lot better weather than it has been, so uh, let's see if we can get on some perch with these sandworms. Alright guys, I, uh, I'm going to throw out a Carolina rig. Three quarter ounce weight, you know the drill. A little sandworm on there.
This one's for you, Chad. Oh, got one already. Holy moly. Oh, did he come off? No, I got him. First friggin' cast, of course, with the sandworm. Ha! <laughs> Good sized perch, too. Not bad. All right, guys, there we go. Nice little barred surf perch. Hook in the corner of the mouth. Pop him right off, super easy. Probably could have done that with my hands, but anyways, there we go. See you, bud. Woo, there he goes. All right, fish on the board, officially. It's been a tough day, man. Tough day fishing. Do a little micro fishing, a little perch fishing. I call it micro fishing. At least get some fish on the board, man. Been here for an hour and a half, two hours, not catching any fish. Feels good. Chuck it right out in front of me. Got one. Yeah, he's still on there. Yeah, decent one. Another decent perch. Ah! Spiking me. Come on, dude. Yeah. There we go. Another one. Same thing. Just quick, quick little whoop, right out of the corner of his mouth. Booyah, that's the deal. Perch number two. Let him go. There you go. Just so you know, guys, too, what I've kind of learned is that you don't necessarily have to have the lightest leader line crap I'm caught up but you don't have to have the lightest leader line I've got 10 pound on right now I mean my main line my main line I think is 15 or something around there and I've just got 10 10 pound leader which when you get snagged isn't the most convenient thing for popping it off but Makes it a little easier to deal with a heavier fish. Popped off the snag, worked out well, didn't even lose my worm. Just walked down the beach a ways and try popping it off, tugging a little bit from a different direction, usually works. So I just walked around the hole, came back from way over there, all the way over here, came right off. Pro tip, how to get it off of a snag. Getting some bites. There we go, got another one. Decent one, feels like. Another little perch, probably. Although I am the king of the teeny tiny croaker so far this year, I don't know. I think I've caught one or two maybe on video, but I have been getting tiny little baby yellowfin croaker for some reason. Anyways, there we go. Another perch. Nice one. Yeah, these are decent size. There we go.
There we are. All right. Let's get him back. Woo! There he goes. Right back out. Just right in front of me. It's a nice, I always say hole, but basically indentation in the bottom. Fish like to collect there, so whenever you see that, that's where you want to cast. I'm not even casting it far, I'm only casting it like. 30 feet, maybe 20. I mean, I don't even know, I'm just right out there. Sometimes that's all it takes. When you're fishing bottom like this, it's a little different. You don't need to cover a whole lot of water to catch perch and other little small fish. So a giant cast isn't necessary. Kind of just flipping and pitching like you would if you were bass fishing, but you know, maybe it should bring a bass fishing setup out here sometime. That'd be interesting. So this is about it, guys. All right, guys, that'll do it. I'm gonna uh, tune you out. Video making time is over. So <laughs> I've got a couple of trips coming up later this year, so I'll make sure I uh, put out some content. And I appreciate your time, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Take care.